Our first example for using a trial and improvement method is to find the cube root of 200 to two decimal places. To assist in our calculations, we may find it useful to draw up a table of cube numbers. We will stop at 6 cubed because the cube root of the number we wish to find is just lower than 216. 5 cubed is 125, 6 cubed is 216. So we know that our estimate of the cube root of 200 must lie somewhere between 5 and 6, but nearer to 6. For our first trial of the cube root of 200, we will use 5.7 cubed. 5.7 cubed is equal to 185.193. This is below 200, so perhaps we can improve on this estimate and we'll try 5.9 cubed. 5.9 cubed is equal to 205.379. This is above 200, but perhaps again we can improve on the estimate, so we'll try 5.8 cubed. 5.8 cubed is equal to 195.112. We have now identified the two numbers which are nearer to 200. So we know that our cube root of 200 lies between 5.8 and 5.9. We want the answer to two decimal places, so we will take the mid value of 5.8 and 5.9, which is 5.85. 5.85 cubed is 200.202. This is still above 200, so maybe we can improve on the estimate again. We'll try 5.84. 5.84 cubed is equal to 199.177. We have now identified the two closest numbers to 200, but the nearer number is 200.202. So the cube root of 200 to two decimal places is 5.85.